come in. I'll put telly on. Do you want a cup of tea? Well, can I have a coffee? Right. What are you doing? Hanging my coat up. Oh, Les. Oh, leave it alone. Don't get all crumpled. It doesn't matter. Is the lift always that slow? That one is. Goes in fits and starts. Sometimes you press it to go up and it goes down. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. The other one's really fast though, it's like being in a rocket. Did you see that alcove in that one we came up in? Yeah. You know what that's for? No. For taking coffins down. Oh, it's not. It is, honest. You sure? Yep. They need the extra space. Oh, I think that's really creepy. I'm going to go down by the stairs when we leave. You can't walk down all them stairs. He'll take you hours. You got an ashtray? I don't know. It's probably one on the sideboard. I think it's objectionable. Now, would you tell me I don't know how they can well, do it. Think, uh, it's they just take all the clothes off. When you think about it, though, everybody's naked, aren't they, really? No, they're not. They've got clothes on. Yeah, but underneath the clothes. I mean, you're not born with clothes on, are you? Babies are different. It'd be funny if you were born with clothes on, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look at her. I couldn't be a nudist, could you? Could I, heck? Are you watching this? No. The worst thing they can do, you'll bring all the rest back out the whole league. Neither am I. Why, why? Should we switch off the then? I'm yeah. Fine. I suppose it might provide certain difficulties uh, from uh, the law and order point of view. Are you sure you didn't want to watch anything else? Positive. Are you comfy? Hmm. It isn't boiling, is it? No, it won't be yet. No. That'll be our Yvonne. Hello! Hiya, sexy. Hello, love. Hello. How are you? All right, and you? Bit buggered. I've put kettle on. Wonder's never safe. We've only just got in. Have you got van tonight, then, Les? No, they wouldn't let me have it tonight. Mm. We came on the bus. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't um, smoke. Why not? It's smelly. Anyway, it's bad for you. What's for tea? Mint tater bag. Yum, yum. But you're not going to have any, are you? Of course I am. I thought we were going into town for a supper. We are, but this is our tea. Well, you can't have two meals in one night. Of course you can. Aren't you having any? No. She don't want her tea. Oh, there's plenty of pile-up. No, I don't want any, honestly. Go on, have a bit. Well, no, we're going to eat later. You've only just got in from work. You must be starving. Um, well, can I just have a little bit of toast? Is that all right for a Les toast? How should I know? Is that all right, love? Honestly. Or do you want it now when we have ours? Well, I'll have it with you. All right. Why don't you have some tea? I don't want any. It's rude. What's rude about it? Well, it is, isn't it? Well, you never told me you were going to eat now. What do you expect us to do? It's tea time. Well, you said we'd eat later. Yeah, but you always have your tea at tea time, don't you? We decided where we were going anyway. No. You're going to end up having to run round in showers to get wet. <laughs> you don't mind if I do a bit of ironing, do you, love? No, of course not. You carry on. We're going out? Yeah. Where are you going? Don't know, Mum. Who are you going out with? A fella. A new one? Yeah, you must know. What's he called? Morris. <laughs> are you Morris. laughing now? What a daft name. What time are you meeting him? Eight o'clock. Where? Outside Rialto. Does Yvonne always make the tea? No, me ma'am. Yvonne only does it on Fridays. 
And then she only warms it up. My man makes it. My man works late on Fridays with Arthur at shop. Who's Arthur? My stepdad. Oh, yeah. Arthur works late on Tuesdays, too. Does he? I suppose you have to if you're running a shop. It's co-op. He only works there. Oh. They'll be coming back at nine o'clock, but we'd better go out about half past eight just in case they come back early. All right. Hey, what's Morris's surname, eh? Don't know, I Minor. <laughs> Morris Minor. <laughs> hey, what happened to that other fella? What fella? That nice one. Yeah. I think so. Saw him, but he never bothered with us. Didn't he? No. Yeah. Oh, so who were you with? Jackie. Oh, I'm not surprised he didn't bother with you then. What do you mean? You want to see them two walking down the street linking arms? Look like a couple of beatniks. She's my mate. Well, hey, what happened to that fella with a motorbike? Don't know. Hey, fella, she ball. went out with. Had a great big motorbike. He took her out for a ride with no crash helmet on. Mm. She could have been killed. Come on, Les, that kettle's boiling. Oh, right. Honest to God, Carol, he'd forget his head him if it were loose. It's a wonder he's not forgotten to pick you up. <laughs> well, I don't think he'd do that. Hey, what? where's coffee? Tell him to die, Les. Been going out a bit now, haven't you, Carol? About five weeks, isn't it? How much do you put in? A spoonful. I don't know, you're doing him wonders, Carol. Got him making coffee, we'll have him making tea next. Was Yvonne sad when her husband left her? I don't know. He left her. What was he like? You were a bastard. What do you mean? He used to bring her flowers every morning. Well, that's a nice thing to do. I were making a joke. Well, I don't think it's very funny. Heck, I've found a bit of meat. Oh, stick it on wall, Les. Shall we frame it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a special occasion if we get meat in our bag. She's a great cook, my mum, isn't she? Oh, aye. She ought to write a cookery book. Aye. How to make rock buns out of real rock. <laughs> oh, yeah, and how to boil eggs. Yeah. <laughs> She's the only person I know that can burn boiled eggs. Yeah. Go in there in the morning and there's a pan on the side black with a little black egg stuck at the bottom and that's for your breakfast. She can burn cornflakes, me man. <laughs> She's ugly and all, ain't she? Why? She could turn milk off. <laughs> My mum's so ugly that when my see her, they dive onto traps. <laughs> I bet you're dying to meet her, aren't you, Carol? She's not gonna meet her. Why not? Shut up. Do you want more bread, Les? No, I'm not hungry. Oh. What have you got in your hair, you? Rose. Look like the wild man of Borneo. You cheeky monkey. <laughs> Did your brother say things like that to you, love? No. I'm an only child. I am. Hey, is there any more of this? Yeah, pass your plate. I don't know where you put it. I put it in my mouth. <laughs> you eat too much. Our Les is a bloody pig. There's no wrong with us pigs. Pigs are very intelligent, you know. My favourite animal, pigs. I'm a pig and proud of it. Oh, well, we can see that, can't we, Carol? You never see a pig going to work, do you? We're queuing up outside Labour Exchange. Or going round shops. They have a life of luxury, pigs. They get all the food brought to them, and all they have to do is eat it. It's a great life. You wouldn't say that if you saw what they had to eat. Out of our bloody slot bins, I wouldn't like to eat it. We have a whole lot row of them, you know, at work. We have to go past them to go to the toilet. We have a fag sometimes. Oh, and it stinks, and there's old flies crawling all over them. Well, it's funny when you think about it, isn't it? I mean, pigs eat that, then we eat pigs, don't we? Don't. I'd like a pig for a pet. What? Imagine having a pig on a lead. <laughs> Taking it for a walk in park. It'd be great. Hey, imagine a pig curled up on rug in front of the fire <laughs> with its little piggy ball. <laughs> Opening a tin of pig or meat. Hey, <laughs> you could take it to the French poodle shop and have its tail curled. <laughs> oh, sit up, Les. What for? 
Well, you get indigestion. Well, that echoes. You don't have to eat sitting up, you know. You can eat in any position you want, I've seen it on telly. You had a man on there, standing on his head eating a bun. On his head? Yeah. It went down just the same. It's not to do with lower gravity, you know. It's all to do with muscles in your throat. I've seen it on Blue Peter. Mm. That's called peristalsis. What? Peristalsis, that's what it's called. What, standing on your head? No, the food going down with the muscles in your throat. Um, Where did you discover that? Biology. I were on till again, you know, this morning, Les. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You like that, don't you? I do. Wish I could do it all the time. Do not have to make a change. I'm usually on chip range, you know. Mm. I mean, last week she put me on till for a bit and she put me on again this week. Smashing. Hey, Les, you'll never guess who came in. Who? That woman. What woman? You know, that one I was telling you about. Oh, that one? <laughs> I was sitting on cash still and she came up to me. I was just dying to laugh after what you'd said, you know. Yeah. And she looked at me and I burst out laughing right in her face. She must thought I was bloody soft. <laughs> I nearly wet my knickers, I laughed that much. Has he told you about it? No. Oh, it's this woman. Her stomach blew up like a big balloon, you know, a false <laughs> pregnancy. And I was telling Les and he said to me, go on, tell her what you said, Les. I just said it must have been caused by wind. And I said <laughs> I wouldn't like to be there when she let off. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, that, isn't it? <laughs> well, I better get these pots washed up anyway. Oh, I'll do that for you. Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right, I can do it. You sure you don't mind? Of course I don't. Oh, well, the washing up stuff's on, sir. Have you finished, Les? No. Hey, Les. You can bring her around every Friday night. Hey, what about that puff? No, oh, Jimmy. Yeah. He hasn't been in again, him, you know. Hasn't he? Mm. I bet he's left for good. Probably has. Yeah. I don't blame him. I bet he had a miserable time working with you lot. Did he, Egg? He used to like us pulling his leg in. <laughs> you all right, Lord? Yes, I'm fine. Give us that cloth, would you? Oh. Found washing up all right, did yes, you? Yes, there. Hey. What? What are you letting her do washing up for? She said she wanted to. You don't mind washing up, do you, though? No, of course I don't. You might be in the only child, Carol. Yeah, it's all right. Mum not keen on kids? No, she likes them. It's funny, she only had you then, isn't it? Well, she couldn't have any more. What, after you, you mean? Mm. Did she have one of them operations? Yeah. How old was she then when she had that? Uh, well, she was 40. Was she? Well, she was late starting with you then, wasn't she? Yeah. Did they not bother for a bit, like? Uh, no, well, they tried. Only she had a couple of miscarriages. I've finished. Right. Here's your cup. Hey, Ta what? when are you going out? About 28, where? Can't you go out earlier? Why do you want to be on your own? Ooh, lad. Yeah, I'll be joining out this bit. Oh, Tom. Just time to go. Let's go. What are you doing? Just rinsing me over all out. Do you have to do it now? I want it dry for morning. You could do it after when you come in. It's done now. I thought you had to go out. I do. You've been late for your own funeral, you. Oh, stop nagging, Les. Oh, come on, you I'm gone. brushing my teeth, Les. Do you want to watch telly? No, not unless you want to. Do you want a jam sandwich? No. Oh, chip pan. Oh, I'm hurrying up. I can't be any quicker, Les. Blooming, eh? What's that? It's a new scent. Do you like it? Oh, you're not wearing that, are you? Yeah, of course I am. Morris will drop dead. It's dead bloody cheeky. Oh, That's the long, homie. It's lovely, that. It's nice. 
Hey, what is Morris anyway, an hairdresser? No, he's the egg. He works in rag trade. What, sewing on fly holes? Les. Where'd you meet him? I met him in that club, you know, that foreign one, that La Ponciano place. La Ponce? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing in La Ponce? I just went with Jackie for a change. I can smell you from here. So you should, it cost enough. Can you smell her? Do you like it, Carol? Yeah, it's all right. Do you want a bit on No, thanks. Tell her, Mum, I've left money under it while I smell you left. I won't be in when she gets here. Anyway, she knows you always leave it there. Where are you going? We don't know yet, do we? No, we're not sure. Why are we waiting? All right, all right. Why? I'm going, I'm going. You sound like you've already gone. Oh, what a brother. Thanks for helping me wash up, love. That's right. See you again, eh? ta -da, Tassie. I need mean, some chewing gum on there if you want it. Have a nice night. ta -da. Do you want some chewing gum? No. Are we going to go into town then? Yeah. And when are we going? Half past eight. We are getting a pet pig, you know. Not kidding. Don't be daft. Have you got any pets at your house? Got a budgie. <laughs> we had a budgie. What's it called? Joey. Ours was called Peter. Have you had it long? Three years. We only had ours a fortnight. Arthur put cover right down one night and suffocated it. Couldn't stand the sight of it. It couldn't talk. <laughs> it couldn't fly either. We let it out for a fly around room once and it fell flat on carpet. We had to lift it back into the cage. It's rude to read in polite company. You're a fine one to talk about being rude. What do you mean? You know perfectly well what I mean. What are you talking about? Hey, don't read it now. I can read a magazine if I want to. You're in a right bad mood, aren't you? Well, it's hardly surprising, is it? Why couldn't you sit at the table and have your tea? What? Well, did you have to sprawl about all over the furniture, eating your food off the floor? And why couldn't you help me do the washing up? You were so keen to get rid of Yvonne. Shut up. Anybody think you didn't want me here? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I can't help it. Of course you can. No one's forcing you to behave like an animal. It's about time you learned a few manners. Shut up. If you tell me to shut up just once more, I'm going. Shut up. Oh, blooming heck. Where are you going? What are you coming? Where? Well, let's go to the pub. I thought we were staying here till half past eight. Oh! What'd you do that for? I thought you were going to hit me. Oh, honestly. I must be mad to stay here. You are. You're a moron. I know. I bet you've never treated any other girls like this. Have you? 
No, I usually tie them up and gag them and leave them in lockers at Piccadilly Station. I've never had a girlfriend. Not never? No. Well, you must have been out with somebody just once. No. What? Do you mean you've never... I mean, have... Have you never... You know. Have I egg? Do you mean I'm your first girlfriend? Sherlock Holmes. I didn't know. I should have worn L plates and a running in sign. Is that why you never tried anything on? Ugh, what an horrible expression. It's not. Yvonne says that. It sounds like p trying on a new pair of pants. Is it why, though? I don't know anything about it. I wouldn't know where to start. Anyway, when you've never had a girlfriend, you don't want to spoil it, do you? You have to be careful. I mean, I might get it all wrong. It might be clumsy. I know what to do, you know. It's everywhere, isn't it? Sex, in papers, on telly, on pictures. But it's not like that, really. <laughs> when I were at school, they told us all about frogs and spawn. I brought my homework book home and Arthur looked over my shoulder at it and he said, it's just the same with people. <laughs> I thought that's why people must go to baths. Do you want a drink? Yeah. I'll have a coffee. I'll make a cup of tea. You want to have coffee? All right. Do you want any help? Yeah, all that. <laughs> hey, can I have a look round? Of course you can. I'll give you a guided tour, shall I? On your right, that's my mum's room. Then next to that on the left, that's Yvonne's room. Then next to that's bathroom. Then next to that's my room. Yeah. You can go in if you want to. What's that? It's a ukulele. Do you play it? Yeah. Sit here. My mum's bought me a new shirt. Well, let's have a look. Oh, Les, that's smashing. You look great in that. It's horrible. You're crumpling up your trousers. Do you like mad? I've never read it. It's great. Are you all right now? Yeah. I'm sorry about that before. But I always have my meals on settee. Set me Christmas dinner. <laughs> Hey, 
do you really play that? Yeah. Well, play something on it. What shall I play? Oh, I don't know. My dog has wheeze. <laughs> What's that? That's how you tune it up. You've got to fight Nord. I'm leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady. Oh. Oh, come on, come on, finish it. Come on. I'm leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. Oh me, oh my. I hope that little lady comes boo doo boo doo boo boo She's absolutely wonderful and marvellous and beautiful And anyone can understand why I'm leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street In case a certain little lady passes by We're just going. We're just looking at Les's new shirt. Oh. You were back early, aren't you? Yeah. Did Morris not turn up? No. I told you you were a ponce. Do you know there are 140 steps to this flat? You've not walked up seven floors, have you? Yeah. What for? I felt like it. Shall I make you a drink? No, I'll let you. She's in a bad mood, ain't she? Yeah. Shall we go out? Shall we ask her if she wants to come to the pub? Do you think she'd come? I don't know. We can see. We're off now, then. Right. We're going down to the pub. You can come if you want. You can, you won't be at work. It'll be all right. right, Les. Ta-ra, then. Bye. Not be long.